Thanks for checking out the McGuire Chevrolet Cadillac Highlight of the Week. We support the community we serve. Visit us when you're ready for a newer pre-owned car. Maximize your fuel economy today with the Chevy Cruze. 592 miles between Phillips and 42 miles per gallon. Levy Valley comes out on fire in this one to watch Tom Hoyt convert the good look from Scott Brady, and Levy Valley takes a 3-0 lead over North Warren here at North Warren. The Pats make it 8 nothing here. Watch Brady knock down the tray from the top of the arc for Lenape Valley, and they're rolling. Lenape Valley keeps pouring it on early. Watch on the run out. Brady finds Kenny Costa from the wing, and he buries a 3, and Lenape Valley has an 11-0 lead. And Lenape Valley goes up 13-0 here. Watch Bobby Pregno with a nice reverse layup for the Pats, and they have a great start. Okay, North Warren finally settles in and makes it a 13-8 game after one quarter with a run out of its own. And the Pats score here as Glenn Nannius, the talented sophomore, posts up and scores. And it's only a five-point game after one quarter of play. Second quarter we go, and North Warren makes this a two-point game off the scramble. Kevin Conlon flips the ball to Eric Williams for the lay-in. And Lenape Valley is up now 16-14. Now watch Scott Brady with the steal as he scores and draws the foul. And after the free throw, Lenape Valley takes a seven-point lead, 21-14. And Lenape Valley caps its big first half. Watch Brian Altahura with a nice putback on the offensive board. And Lenape Valley has a 27-14 lead at the half. Third quarter we go, and it's Brady with another nice assist, this time to Altahura down low for two. And Lenape Valley pushes its lead to 31-16. But North Moore makes it a 37-28 game here. Off the great bull movement, it's Glenn Nannius with the finish for the Pats. He's a real nice player, folks. But Scott Brady ends the quarter with this nice runner that falls in for two, and Lenape Valley takes a 39-28 lead as we head to the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter we go, and it's all free throws until Brady drives to the hoop here for two to give Lenape Valley a 10-point lead, 44-34. And the Pats take an 11-point advantage here as they spread the floor before finding a wide-open Tom Hoyt under the basket, and Lenape leads 46-35. North Warren is still hanging around in this one, and it's Glenn Nannius again for the Pats as he gets the hoop in the harm, and North trails 51-40. But Lenby Valley notches its first road victory year and second win in a row as Scott Brady connects on his free throws to propel the Pats to a 55-44 win over their future Freedom Division rivals at North Warren Regional High School. It feels good because we haven't won a road game all year, and since we're not making states or anything, it just feels great to finally win a road game and sweep this team. Coach Healy's been working hard with us, uh, told us not to give up, and I mean, we did, a, we did a good job against them. They're a good team and pulled out the win. It's nice. Pressed right from the start, 32 minutes, turned the ball over, but we got back, drive to the hoop. We all played well. Bobby Pregno is a great athlete, and tonight his assignment was to slow down Glenn Nannius of North Warren, and he was up to the task. Glenn Ninnis is, is a great basketball player. He, he showed himself at the end. I mean, he was pulling out some spin moves that I don't think any of us could have stopped. But, I mean, we did a great job, enough to told them to get a win. Lenape Valley jumped out to a quick 13-0 lead, and they never really looked back. It was big, but coaches told us to keep our composure, keep our composure, and just press them and be nasty on the court on defense. It was real big. We weren't expecting it, but we just kept pressuring, making shots, all we had to do. His Lenape Valley team so young, Coach Dan Healy wishes the season would never end. I think I told you last time, I just wish this season was about 20 games longer because we're really playing our best basketball right now. Um, you know, I was just telling my assistant coach, Coach Hapes, that uh, down the stretch, I thought we had a lot of guys playing a lot of solid basketball in this game. And when I was making my subs down the stretch, I was thinking there's a lot of guys I could put in right now. And that, uh, that's a great problem for a coach to have in a game that, you know, North Warren kept clawing and fighting and not going away. And obviously, Nannius is a tremendous player, and we're going to have to deal with him for the next couple of years with them moving into our division. But, uh, but tonight was about these guys, and uh, I'm so proud of them. And I can't speak to you know, how hard they've worked since the summertime and how much it really paid off. And we're fortunate. Very few teams get to end the season on a high note, uh, and we're fortunate enough to do so. Well, the sky's the limit for this team. I mean, all these kids work really hard. You got Scott Brady, Kenny Costa. I mean, Tom, Tom Hoyt, who led the team in scoring. I mean, they have, they have some good players coming back next year that could really do some work. And I, I mean, the league better watch out.